It took me by surprise when I realised I was building a collection. And then it took me by surprise when I realised, hey, I've got a hobby. Hello, my name's Andy. I'm a Clyde Bank supporter and I collect Scottish football cards. The collection started back in the 70s. It was me, three brothers and my sister. We would collect the cards and then when we completed the set, my dad would take them off us and say, I'm going to put them away for you. Trust me, you'll thank me in years to come. So at the time, obviously, we were like, oh, don't take them off us. But in years to come, we got the cards, full sets, and thank you, Father. Seven years ago, I decided to get the cards off my mum, who had kept them for all these years. That's when I decided I'll just put them online as well and share them. I don't collect the things where I do share it for people, I don't collect it for other people, I collect it for myself. My heart is, is Scotland. My love of football is Scottish football. Basically, I collect Scottish nostalgia. If I've got a choice between a mint set of unused football cards and a set of football cards that are all bendy and corners off and I will choose them every time because it, it shows they've been they've been played with, they've been loved, they've been thrown against a wall, they've been thrown up in the air. It's about having something that has been used and loved. If I were to show you around the collection, the Aberdeen team photo, that would be number one. The entire squad of Aberdeen players were in a Scotland strip. Amazing. There's a very fetching Charlie Nicholas article as well from 1993. There's a 1981 Topps unopened packet of cards and it still has a chewing gum in it. I do remember you could smell the chewing gum even before you opened the wrapper. So that that's not there now. I've you know, I have tried to smell it and it's not there. If I had to choose between magazines and cards and stickers, I'd choose cards. The 1977 Yellowbacks, Scottish cards, there the pride of my collection. There are a lot of 1970s photoshops going on. As a little boy, it wasn't obvious, but now when you scan them in, you're older, you realise they have taken liberties. But Pat Stanton, when he was playing with Celtic, all they've done is paint green and white stripes over his hips top. Dom Sullivan card, they have cut them out and pasted them in front of a Wimbledon crowd, and I don't mean Wimbledon, the football team, I mean the tennis. Johannes and Valsen, they have cut his head off and stuck it on a Paul Wilson sticker of the same set. The collection, when will it stop? Because it's started with cards, I think if I could complete all the Scottish cards, I think that, that would give me a little bit of closure, a little sense of it's done. I'll scan in my last card, I'll scan in my last magazine, and then I'll switch off the scanner, and that'll be it. <laughs>